G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you a squad builder, but not just any squad builder, it's a foot chance squad builder. Now this team is roughly 350k on PlayStation, so it could be more expensive, could be cheaper on Xbox, I'm not too sure, so I do apologise about that. But as you can see, it's a 4-3-1-2 formation, and if you take a look at my manager, he's from the Spanish League 1. So this is, of course, a La Liga Santander squad builder. Now, I have previously done a La Liga Santander squad builder, which was roughly around 150k, so if you don't have the coins for this team, I definitely recommend going and watching that video, because that team is very sick itself. But let's just go straight into the goalkeeper here, and our goalkeeper is Kaylor Navas. Now, he's an absolute beast. I once swapped him out for Informed Committee, and also Informed Committee is a beast. If you want an extra special card in there, definitely recommend picking him up. But I swapped Caleb back in for a game just to give him another chance, and by God, did he impress me. And he's just an absolute beast. I just love him so much, and definitely recommend picking him up for 6.8k now, but I do believe he's around 5k due to the um, team year coming out. I bought this team just for the team year, so every player might be a little bit less expensive, and I guarantee you Caleb and Abbas will be around 5k on PlayStation. But let's get straight into our centre-backs now. It is Pepe and Gordin. Now, Pepe and Gordon are my favourite centre-back pairing in this game. I just love them so much. I love them better than Smalling and Bailly, Koscielny and Mustafi, Boateng and Hummels. I just love them so much in this game. They're so good. Pepe, 6 foot 2 medium-high work rates, 70 pace, 88 defending, 81 physical. Fantastic stats. And because I put an anchor card on him, his pace goes up to around 70. Now, his defending goes to mid-90s, and his physical goes to mid-80s, high-90s. Now, I did the same thing for Godin, so instead of 65 pace, he gets around 73, 74, something around those marks. He gets the same defending as Pepe, which I, like I said, is around mid-90, so around 95, 96, 94, around them. And his 79 physical goes up to mid-80s as well. Now, he's, under, he's 6 foot 1, so he's a, an inch smaller than Pepe, but that doesn't matter too much. He's got medium-high work rates as well. And they, you don't really need to worry about their um, skill moves and weak foot for them. But I have scored goals with both these players, and that's because their heading is amazing. Now, I'm not good at corners, so I don't always get it to them, but I do try to. And when I get to them, it's either going in the back of the net, or the keeper makes an amazing save to stop it. So I definitely recommend picking up these two centre backs, as Pepe's around 20k now, because the team here, I reckon, has gone down a little bit. And Godin, he'll be around 15 to 20k. But yes, definitely recommend putting an A card on both of them, but they're still sick either way. Now, moving into the right, pack, right back position, I should say, it is DeMarcos. Now, I used him in my previous League of Santander squad builder, but he is a beast. That's why I've kept him in this team. The 750 coins I believe to pick him up for, yes. So basically, it's a scar price. He's a tank. 88 pace, 2 shot, 73 passing, 78 dribbling, 74 defending, 79 physical. 5 for 11, high medium work rate, something you don't need to worry about because you just put him on stay back while attacking and he's always there for you. 3 star, 3 star is pretty good. He scored one goal for me, which was a banging free kick. I don't know why I started to put him on my free kick, but I was winning 5 1 against this dude. It was just like 88 minutes, so I just know. Because DeMarcos was um, my free kick taker for some reason. Maybe because he was put in the team first, I don't know why. But I just, you know what, why not take with him? Bang, top bins from about 38 yards out, Wooshka. So I definitely recommend picking up DeMarcos in the right back position. But if you have a few extra coins, there's a, the new team league has an in for Montoya. And he looks pretty sick, so if you want to splash the cash, I would recommend picking him up. But DeMarcos, B's favourite right back in the game, pick him up for cheap, dirt cheap. Now left back position, we have Jordi Alba, the 86 red tank. He is a god in this game. 5 for 7, not the best. High medium work rates. Same as DeMarcos, but put him on stay back while attacking, there's no issue for that. 3 star, 3 star, same as DeMarcos, but his stats are insane. 93 pace, amazing. 69 shot, not the best, but he's left back, so it doesn't really matter. 75 passing, good. 83 dribbling, amazing, because trust me boys, when you go on a run with him, he can, he's like pace and agility just cuts through the defenders with his dribbling, he's just so good. Every time I do a run with him, I just like roulette defenders and stuff like that. He's so good, he usually gets through on goal. Now, I know I haven't scored a goal with him, that's because his finishing is not the best, but oh my god, he's had about he's had about 20 chances in the 20 games, he's so good. 
He's got 81 defending as well and 75 physical. Now I've kept him on basic because all of his stats are pretty decent for a left back. So it lifts them all up quite decently. But if you were to put a um, commission style on him, I would put either Anchor or Sentinel. I think Sentinel is the one that does defending and physical or whatever the one that just does defending and physical. That or Anchor because it has pace, defending and physical. And same for Demarcus. Just kept him on basic because all the stats go up from it. And they're all half decent. But yeah, I would put an Anchor on him as well. Now moving on to the midfield, we have the same midfield as my previous squad builder team. Just because I love this midfield so much, there's just I can't think of any flaws of it. It's just amazing. The only thing I could say to upgrade is like maybe Team Lee and Modric, Team Lee and Iniesta, or Team Lee and Cruz. I wouldn't get normal Cruz. It normal Iniesta and Modric I would get. I would take out Gomez and um. Terrain if you were to get Iniesta and Modric, or if you just get rid of one of them, I just if you're just going to get one Modric or like one Iniesta, if you're only going to get one of them, I'll take out Terrain because he's probably the worst of them all, but they're still really sick. And an upgrade as well for Nzonzi would be because he's just got his new 86 rated in form. I'm still rocking the 84 just because I don't have enough coins to buy his upgraded in form just yet. But yes, this midfield, midfield is very good, and that's why I've kept it in the same team. But boys, ready to splash the cash. Cam is the same. It's my favourite player in the game. It's Hammers Rodriguez. He is an absolute tank. Just, I love him so much. 19 games, 7 goals, 10 assists. Now, that's not as good as my previous Hammers Rodriguez that I had, which was about 30 games, 37 goals, and about 40 assists. But this is because I've just played foot champs in this, um, with this squad, and he still, 19 games, 7 goals, tennis is, is very good for foot champions, especially for me, considering I'm not the best FIFA player out there. And for 58k, he's very good. I bought him with a Hunter as well, so you can probably get him for cheap. We'll just have a quick look. Now again, these are PlayStation prices, so if you're on Xbox, these probably aren't the prices that you have. Alright, he's around the same price. That's alright. And now, we're going to move into our strikers. Now, this is where we splash the cash a little bit. we got Inform Ben Yedda and Ben Zima. Now, I had normal Ben Yedda in my previous squad builder, but since he got an inform, I previously had the candle in there because I liked his normal card a little bit better than normal Ben Yedda, but inform Ben Yedda, take a bow, son. Five star weak foot, four star skills, 11 games, nine goals, four assists, and again, that is in foot champs. That's just a sick record for foot champs, especially for me. Now, 85 pace, 87 shot, 81 passing, 87 dribbling, 68 figures for Physical is not the best, but hey, he's still in the same. Now I'll put a hunt on because his pace isn't the best, but it's very good to put a hunt on and gets about 96, 97. His shooting gets to about 99. And some might put on um uh, finisher to get his shooting and physical, but I reckon physical is too low. Or sniper to up his dribbling, but I reckon ASM dribbling is more than enough. And for 56k, which I bought him for, he could have gone down because of Team of the Year again, but he's just a bug. Oh, it looks to go up maybe. Maybe up? No, oh, could make a little cheeky little bit of profit on there, but I ain't gonna sell him, he's just a beast. Now we got the final striker and final player, it's Benzema. 19 games, 12 goals for assists, he's an absolute beast. 81 pace, 84 shot, 77 passing, 82 dribbling, 74 physical, 4 star, 4 star, medium low, 6 for 2 as well. His heading is insane, trust me boys. His heading is insane. Now I put a hunt on him just because his pace isn't that good. 81 pace, it's not bad, but it's not that good. So he gets to about 93 and 4, something like that. And shooting high 90s as well, and like 97 around that. So yes, this is a very, very good team. Now my player instructions are, I get these to stay central and get in behind. And I keep him, um, stay up while defensive or whatever it is. Um, stay up while attacking. Just always stay up there so he's not coming back on defense. Now... Um, Gomez and Turan, they're on like the default where they like the um, basic defensive and basic attacking support. And I've got um, Inzonzi playing the centre defensive mid role of him um, staying back on attack. And obviously, like I said before, Jordi Alba and Marcus are also on stay back while attacking. And of course, the defenders are also on stay back while attacking. Now, this is a very good squad. 80, 186 rated. That might be just because of my bench. Look, just a load of bench there. Or a loaded bench, or full of lone players besides Bakambu. Now, I would like to swap like that out for that, but does nothing. And I like Bakambu as a stupid sub, so I keep him in the team. Anyway, and Bakambu, in case you're wondering, those are his stats for foot chance because I sub him on when people get tired. Eight games, five goals, honestly. So he's very good himself if you can't afford informed Banyetta. But anyway, guys, thank you guys very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please smash the 
thumbs up and subscribe if you want to know what I'm doing. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Peace.